Lightroom presets can be so amazing in helping us to um, make our editing process faster and uh, create consistency among our work. But sometimes actually importing those presets, whether it's you know something that you've purchased or downloaded from somewhere else, it can get a little tricky. So today I wanna be able to walk you through the back end of how to import Lightroom presets for desktop and for mobile. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Rebecca Rice, and I teach family photographers how to gain a life of financial freedom through a thriving photography business. And in today's episode, we're talking all about importing Lightroom presets. This is a question that I get a lot about, what do I do when I purchase your presets or anybody else's for that matter? How do I actually get them into Lightroom on desktop or mobile? So I'll share my screen here in just a second to show you every single step and get super, super easy. Now, before we go too far, I did wanna let you know about a free class that I have just for you guys. It is the five steps to launching your photography side gig. So whether you have a full time job outside of photography, or maybe you're a stay at home mom, whatever your deal is. In this class, I walk you through the steps that you need to take to take this photography thing from a hobby into an actual legit side gig business. So you may wonder like, what do I need to do? How do I make this legit? I answer all your questions in this free class. And so I know it'll be helpful. We've got it linked below for you to check out and register for and we'll see you there. Okay, now we're gonna flip over and I'm gonna share my screen to show you exactly what you need to do to import Lightroom presets. I'm gonna use mine as an example. So if you didn't know, I have Lightroom pre presets available in my shop, so you can grab those. We'll link them below in case you wanna check it out. Our light and earring preset is by far the most popular, but I also have a bundle with several presets in it, so you can check it out. But we're gonna go ahead and flip over to my screen so you can see what steps that you need to take to import these presets. Okay, so we're inside Lightroom Classic CC. So um, this is not Lightroom CC, it's Lightroom Classic CC. And I'm gonna walk you through how to import um, a preset. Now there are two types of preset file types. There's the ones that are labeled dot LR template and ones that are labeled dot XMP. So I'm gonna show you the Lightroom template first. So we're gonna to go to our preferences inside Lightroom and um, under, you know, we have our tabs up here. We're gonna click the presets tab and come over to this button right here that says show all other Lightroom presets. So we're going to click that and it pulls up, um, you know, a menu inside Lightroom. So we're gonna click develop presets and then we want user presets. So I'm going to go to my folder that has my light and airy preset in it, and I'm gonna grab this light and airy Lightroom template preset. I'm gonna take that and drag it over into that presets folder, okay? So now it is located in there, it's called light and airy. Um, so then we go back to our preferences, we can X out, and then in Lightroom, we're actually gonna quit so we're going to quit. Yes, I really wanna quit. And we're gonna give it just a second. And then we're gonna go back into Lightroom Classic CC. So we do that. And then you have to give it a second for it to like catch up with everything. I'm just gonna like noodle around a little bit. There we go. So this pops up and says all custom develop presets were successfully converted to XMP. So I'm gonna say, okay. And here it is, our light and airy preset is there and we can just adjust our brightness from there. So you can see here's our before, here's our after with our preset. Super, super simple. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to import it with an XMP file. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk you through how we import an XMP file. So this one's a lot easier. We're gonna come over here to, we're under our develop tab in Lightroom Classic CC. We're gonna to go to our presets tab right here and we're gonna click this little plus sign. So we click that and we're gonna click import presets. So we do that and I have the light and airy preset in XMP format right here. I'm gonna hit click import and 
there it is. It popped up. Then we're just going to adjust our exposure and it is good to go. So X and P's are super simple, um, but the other way is totally doable as well. So now let's jump into how to import a preset into Lightroom Mobile. Okay, so now in on mobile, this is what your mobile DNG um, Lightroom preset file is going to look like in your camera roll. It looks like a blank like square, but don't worry. This is exactly what it needs to look like. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to Lightroom and I'm going to click import from camera roll and I'm going to select that DNG right there. And so it, um, this is what it looks like. The collection by Rebecca Rice, light and airy preset. So from here, um, I'm going to, oops, where'd it go? There it is. So from here, I'm going to click the three dots in the corner and we're going to click create preset. Okay. So then we're going to select, we want the profile, light, color, effects, and detail, all of those things. Um, under our preset name, I'm going to say new light, oops, light, oh gosh, light and airy, done. And then just hit done. So now when you click under presets, you can see under user presets, there's the one at the very bottom, new light and airy, so that you know exactly where it is. So when you want to apply it to a photo, let me go um, grab a photo here. Oh my gosh, this was a cute one of my son when he was a little tiny baby. So um, I'm going to, you just click, let me see if I can reset this really quick. Um, we're going to reset all, and then we're going to go over to our presets, and I'm going to go click on that new light and airy preset. I will adjust our exposure a little. Look how cute he is. So it's super, super simple to use on mobile. And so you can always find it right there under that user preset, and then you can adjust your settings as you'd like, and then export. So super, super simple. <laughs>